Take a look at my super keeper. You would think that there's a difference between the defense, support, and attack role when it comes to the goalkeeper and how they contribute to the team's offensive play. But I've realized that in football manager, it's really down to the player attributes playing that role. So if the goalkeeper doesn't have the attributes to actually execute the role, he will just play the way he knows how. So now I do have my super keeper set to support DT in this particular game for Exeter City against Northampton Town. So my goalkeeper does help us build out from the back. He can play possession football, try to recycle possession, and then he's going to stay in goal often in that six yard box, but he's still kind of offering that passing outlet to the team. So it's very comfortable recycling possession right now that he's on support DT, and it does help us build out from the back. Since we're playing a possession-based style of play, we do go on to build out well. The goalkeeper kind of mainly stays in goal. You don't see him venture too far forward, even though we've gone you know, beyond and then we're going into attack all the way now, trying to build up a chance and then create a chance that way. The super keeper mainly stays in goal. So you'd notice this from our concession. We actually considered the goal here, but I don't think it's really down to the fact that he's on support. You notice that there's a deflection just before the ball goes into the net and the keeper was kind of, you know, lost there. He couldn't, he couldn't actually contribute to that. Now to show you that it doesn't really matter what role you're going to put him on, it's halftime now. So I'm going to switch my goalkeeper from playing on support duty to playing on attack duty to see what happens. If he actually goes on to venture really far forward. So you can see the super keeper, I'm going to switch it all the way from support over to attack. But you need to pay attention to the fact that the player roles do matter. So you can see my goalkeeper here in Lee, he doesn't have the eccentricity to play as a super keeper on attack. What's important for a super keeper on attack is to look at all these other roles, eccentricity, first touch, maybe acceleration to some extent, but those ones are quite important. So you need to have those attributes in order for the goalkeeper to actually play on attack duty. So even if you set him on attack, he's going to just play slightly similar to how he would if he was on support duty anyway so you just have to pay attention to that and remember that if your goalkeeper isn't playing a certain role well it's probably down to the fact that he doesn't have the attributes to actually execute that role he does still help us build out from the back at this point i hope it's not detrimental to us really but the game is still 2-1 we're not really in trouble right now we do go on to play out from the back well and then we've gone on to lose possession in midfield my goalkeeper is still in goal at this point he's not venturing too far forward even though the team is trying to push up there is a space between him and the back line which could be a problem for us to be honest so here's a through ball he's still in goal at this point nothing he could do they go on to concede the goal and then it's a through pass in between my two center halves they could have done something about it but at that point there's nothing really the goalkeeper could do about it i don't think it's down to the fact that i switched him from support to attack that doesn't really play a role here i do expect him to come forward and try to you know close that space and be in a 1v1 situation but the back four is really close to him and at that point there's nothing really the keeper could do about it for further inquiry of how the goalkeeper is going to operate playing as a super keeper on attack we do have extra footage here i think it's important to switch it to 2d view so you can get a clear picture of what the goalkeeper is doing so maybe after this line of play we can see the goalkeeper how he's actually operating when he's playing and the super keeper role so let me just go ahead and change it at this point 2d classic and there you can see my goalkeeper he's way off his line right now that's because of where my team is shaped up so he's almost like a second player that is standing guard in case the corner doesn't really go well so here's our team losing possession the goalkeeper is still trying to hold his line he's not going too far back he's not coming too far forward he's just in that space Here's another clip later on in the game and at this point my goalkeeper is still venturing just a yard away from his goal at this point and it's enough for him to get back in goal if the opposition goes on to start a counter attack. Okay my goal has been disallowed but to be honest the super keeper isn't venturing too far forward as I expected him to and I think it's down to the fact that the player has certain attributes that will not allow him to go beyond what he's capable of doing. So in case you're switching the super keeper roles remember to Pay attention to the player attributes in that role. Make sure that the player actually has the ability to play that role. If he doesn't, it doesn't really matter if you give him a super keeper on support or on attack. He's just going to play the role the way he knows how to play it. So in case you're going ahead to select your super keeper roles, keep this in mind when you're choosing your super keeper or even when you're trying to sign one. That's it for today's video. For more football manager videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel.